another video. Um, I just got a new selfie stick, so bruh, this is gonna be a lot easier to make videos. Now the phone's not the problem, I am. So if you guys don't get more videos, it's my problem. But anyway, uh, we taking trash out. See? <laughs> we taking trash out, and I'm gonna finish this vlog tomorrow, but for right now, God, this lot is so bright. I can't see shit. But, yeah, we just oh, love it. This, this uh, selfie stick, uh, I like it because I don't have to click my phone to stop it. Plus, it's a lot easier to hold. All the, all the weight is at the end. That's siren scared to hell. But for real though, we, we're taking trash out. It's colder than hell out here. And I'm in school. Let's just say, if someone kidnaps me, I have it on camera. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what we do. I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Well, now we're going back home. We're going to go home. We're going to charge this phone. We're going to finish this vlog tomorrow. Now, now that I have a selfie stick, I can vlog and it's a lot easier. All I have to do is hit a little button down here and it for real shuts it off. And I'm only, I only have my flash on. So literally, flash is the only thing that's keeping me visible to you guys. Because there's no lighting out here. Well, there yeah. is, but not much. Not much for what I need. Dude, I'm not, I'm not even a freaking vlogger and I even know what I'm doing. Here, I'll stand you guys all the way. I think that's all the way. But for real, <laughs> that's, that, this right here, this is perfect. <laughs> so, this is how, this is how we're going to vlog now. And this we, is real, do it like this right here. And we will be getting more presents from our grandparents, so, stay tuned for that. <laughs> I'm totally going to vlog that. Actually, we're not going to our grandparents until tomorrow, so, yeah. Well, technically right. today, because it's fast I'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> See ya. So, um, I didn't film yesterday, uh, because I had nothing to film, it was pointless, I had nothing to do, um, so we're filming today, we're actually going to my, uh, papa's for, uh, Christmas dinner, and probably have some fun, uh, we're definitely gonna vlog that, so right now, I'm gonna go and get dressed and get ready to go, and I'll talk to you guys, uh, when I'm ready. Um, we went out to my papa's and ate, um, Christmas dinner. Uh, dad wouldn't let me take my vlog camera with me, so I didn't go, I didn't get to go and film. So, I'm gonna film <clears throat> a little challenge. Sorry guys, I'm trying to fix you. There you go. But, I'm gonna film a little challenge once my brother gets in here. We're gonna film a little challenge with our knives. Okay? We're gonna do the sharpness challenge. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take index cards and we're gonna test how sharp. We're gonna test how sharp the uh, knives are on index cards. So, we'll get right to it. Okay, apparently, uh, my brother's not gonna help me on these. I'm gonna help you. Well, then get up here. Suck my dick. All right, give me just a minute. We're gonna fight. <laughs> okay, we back. Um, so the first knife that we're gonna do is this one. You know, I set my phone beside the light to get better lighting. Not doing any justice. Because it's... Okay, yeah, it's not one to focus. Is it? It's focusing on me. 
focus her on your face. That's when you get out of the thing that's on your face. I can't get it to focus. Focus. Again. Anyway, this is an Ozark Trail Outdoor knife. $3. He's right. It cost me four dollars. Four dollars with tax. Yeah, I was gonna say four dollars. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do this here. I'll get over for you. We're gonna do this now. We got our index card. This knife is actually really sharp. I'm drawing a picture in an index card. Okay, so as you can see, straight cut. I mean, straight cut for the knife, Dalton. I know it's. That's I, a curved cut. I know the line is curved. Then it's a curved cut. It went straight through the damn index card. Shut up. Okay, we're going to close this. Alright, next knife. I'm the one that makes these videos fun. Yeah, no. So, mm, which one should we do next? Let's do this one next. Hey, that's my buck knife. This is my brother's buck knife. Let me go and test it real quick. I don't want to. I don't want to go all the way to the tip of the knife because it's got like a little indent at the tip of the knife right there. So I don't want to go all the way to the tip because it, yeah, it's gonna hang up and I'm not gonna have to deal with that. So, all right, we cut us a little place in the card. So, uh. If we wanted to rate these first two knives, I'm going to say this one was, might as well say, I'm going to say 8 out of 10, because it's my knife. This one, this one's going to be a, like, maybe a 7 out of 10, because, I mean, it's sharp, but not sh sharp, sharp. Not as sharp as some of these others. And yes, I know they're sharp. I've been, I've been cut by every one of them, so... I know how sharp all of my knives are. So next knife is this is a new knife. I just got this in for Christmas. This is a mossy oak buck knife. I'm gonna go ahead like butter. Look at this. Perfect. So, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. So, put you over there. I mean, look how straight this line is. It's is so good. Literally, so good. So, we can get us a little, uh, we can get us another index card. I'm putting all the knives we've done over here. That way, I don't get it mixed up. Okay. This knife. You guys might have seen this one in the other video, uh, my collection. It is now called. I don't know how to say this uh, word, but it is a Shred Timer X. No, it's not pink. It's red. But we're gonna test this now. I know this knife is not sharp. We're going, we're going to just see how sharp it is. If it is. Yep, yeah, this stuff. See how rugged that is? See how rugged that is? 
So this knife, <laughs> it's probably a four out of ten. And this is my knife. I'm rating my knife. Ooh. And yeah, I know it's not sharp. I can't help that. Here is a new knife that I got. Here is a another, another buck knife. The handle is actually made out of deer antlers. Um, I don't know the exact brand. You got it from Walmart. Mm. But I'm gonna start us another cut right here. Now I know this knife is sharp. So look, cut through it like it's butter. Literally, look, butter. <laughs> okay, ten out of ten. So we got two ten out of tens. So let's go ahead and do all these other knives quick. This one is the other mossy oak. And yes, these pieces right here, they're interchangeable blades. So I have extra blades, but I'm not going to get them out. Because I don't like taking them in and out. But I hate them. I hate taking them in and out because I don't know how to do it. Dad has to do it. And we're not going to make him do it. Not for a video. But let me go with this now. You can do it right here, right below the other. I don't, I don't need those. Let's just show them to them. I'll show them to them in a second. But, butter. Butter. So, okay. Um, this is my brother's knife. Just got this one for Christmas. It's my brother's. This one is a Magnum. That's it. It's a Magnum. What Not the you? condoms. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I so can't. we're gonna start a cut right here. You know what happened last time? Dad tried to use a Magnum. Yeah, I ended up here. <laughs> so. I didn't think you heard me. Not what I think. I think they did too. Mm. This video is already going to be like 15 minutes long. But I'm already. I, I, I give to you. But this knife, 10 out of 10. Or 9 out of 10. Because, I mean, it. It stopped for a second there, but I think that was kind of my fault. So, we'll give it a 10. 9, nine 10 out of 10. Let's take a little bit of card here. This is my Smith & Wesson. Tactical knife. Tactical knife. I'm not going to show you the serial number. Mm -hmm. Knife has serial numbers? Mm-hmm. Hunting knives do. Because when you buy them... They have serial numbers on them, see? Here, one second, guys. See that serial number there? Go serial number. That's almost like our phone number. <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> okay, so. Smith & Wesson, buck knife. Test it. card is folding. It's a little bit harder to do when the card folds. Oh, it folded again. It's, where, it's the way that I'm holding the paper. I'm trying to get it in frame. We're just going to pull it off. I know this not sharp. So. But Smith & Wesson knife, tactical knife. On this knife, uh, it's got a flashlight on it. Turn it on for you. So, it's got a flashlight, glass punch, 
and a little clip. So if you really want to knock a glass window out, not have to do it. This is a broken kitchen knife. Don't ask why. Don't ask questions. I actually use this knife for uh, a throwing knife. This is actually a really good knife. I don't know how sharp it is because this knife has had a rough life ever since I got it anyway. But we're going to test it here. This is a kitchen knife, so this thing should cut straight through this. And from what it looks like, it's not going to. Okay, it's sharp, but not sharp enough to cut a piece of paper. It's sharp enough to cut me if it needs to. Okay. Uh, I know this knife is not sharp. This knife is definitely not sharp. This one, this is this one was in my other video, you know, my collection video, USA. Serrated blade. I know it's not sharp. We're going to test. I mean, this is... These knives... Some of these are used every day. Some are not. I can't go very far with this knife because it's got a serrated blade, so I have to watch. Because that serrated blade definitely gets you. It's sharp, but... Not sharp enough. Not to my liking, anyway. Whew. One more knife. Got one more knife, and I'll show you guys the blades, and then we're going to finish this video so I can edit and go back to bed. So, this, this knife, I don't remember, oh, uh, this is a, hold on, let me turn it over here. This is a frost cutlery. See the little deer? Yeah. So, I don't know if this knife is sharp, but let's hope it is. Because squirrel season is still in. Yeah. So, ah, uh, it ripped. Okay. So, I guess I made the line for myself. Okay, so far, knife's done good. So, just gonna finish it out and see how rugged it is afterwards. So I can't go all the way back. So, see how rugged that is? Hold on, man. Put the knife down. <laughs> see how rugged that is? It means your knife, it's sharp but dull. So, if that makes any sense. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you guys the blades to, let's see, these two knives, where's the other one, so you got this one, and this one, okay, these are the blades for these knives, there's two right here, that's a gutter, saw, Another gutter. All, all three of these are gutters. Anyway, these knives are terribly sharp, so we're going to go put these up. Y'all, go put these up. So, thanks for watching. Um, remember, guys, if you want to test your knives on how sharp they are, get you some index cards, a piece of paper, notebook paper. It's easy. If you really want to know how sharp your knives are, take a piece of paper, and if it goes through it easy, means your knife is terribly sharp, and don't let your kids play with it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, 
uh, subscribe to my brother's channel. I'll throw it in the description. Um, that's about it. Now, we're going to go edit this video so I can get it up for you guys. Um, have you all good? See y'all later.